hello soulmates you're welcome to another tutorial now in this video we'll be learning how to make a flounce so the first step the first thing you need to do is to get the midpoint of your paper like measure the width the breadth divide by two then get the midpoint now from the midpoint mark two inches round it from the midpoint you can see what i'm doing is two inches exactly two inches you can see my tape on the midpoint so you mark two inches round it then connect the, the dots connect them then after that come up by four inches from that two inches you've marked around you come up by four inches now this four inches is the length of the flounce you're actually making it depends on how you want it it can be two inches it can be three inches it can be more than four inches it depends on what you're working with though but i'm doing four inches that's the length of the flounce i'm making so after that you use your ruler to connect your curve ruler as i as shown in the video but you can decide to connect with your hands too if you're good using free hand for the things you can use your hand then what i'm doing i'm marking the four inches round now this four inches is what i'm going to mark round until until my paper is exhausted so i'm just marking the four inches round it if it's two inches you're working with you mark the two inches round if it's three inches mark it round you're just going to mark it round until you your paper is exhausted then it also depends on the volume of um flow a uh, flounce you're making now it depends on the style you're working with though so your flounce could be bigger it could be smaller so what i'm just doing is to mark the four inches round it so after marking marking to the point i feel oh is enough and my four inches cannot go around the other part so i'll just connect it so the next thing you will have to do is to connect the lines you mark your four remember you are getting the midpoint now if you don't know how to get the midpoint make sure measure the width of your uh, paper divide by two mark it mark the middle measure the uh, the breadth divide by two mark the middle then you just rule horizontal and vertical line across like that that's how to get it then what i'm doing here i'm placing my paper on the organza i'm cutting i'm actually working with organza so i'm placing the paper on it i folded the organza into many parts so it depends on the um uh, on the uh, size of the pattern paper you're working with so i folded my material to make sure it's same size with the paper i'm cutting so i didn't want to waste my material so i just folded it until it got to the size i want so the best thing you do is to pin your paper to the material you don't want the paper like moving either ways or disturbing you when you're cutting so that's what i just did I've pinned the paper on the organza, then I'm cutting. The only, there is no, it's really no hard to make. This is just, it's very simple. Within five minutes, you're done making your um, flowers. Very easy to make. So I'm just tracing it out. So I'm tracing the excess out before cutting my main flowers out so the next thing just watch the video to the end you'll see how nice the flowers actually turn out to be it came out very well like very well it's not difficult to make if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a video you'll be notified I hope this wasn't difficult. If you have any question, you can drop it in the comment box and I will attend to it. This is all that is needed to make a flounce. Very simple. Very easy. Less time consuming. It doesn't take much time. So this is all that is needed. So yeah, you can see that it's already turning out nicely. So yeah, that's it. Please don't forget to like and comment. Thank you very much.